Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll be back. I'm What's up family? Welcome back to my channel. If you want to join my family, you just got to click subscribe. So today we're going to go ahead and kick this video off in the pan and take some onions. I was so upset that um, Target did not have frozen onions because y'all did not want to chop onions. I hate chopping onions. Let me know if you're the same way. Nobody ain't got time for that. And so for the onions, you want to do it till it's deeply caramelized. So the onions are looking nice and brown. You want to add some water. That's going to stop the onions from burning, but it's still going to pretty much cook them. After that, you just want to go ahead and pop it in. Now, my fries are already hot. They're already cooked, so we're really just trying to melt the cheese, really. So after the cheese is melted on my fries, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. I should have probably made more onions. <laughs> I have the onions, I have the fries, I have the cheese, and yes, I probably should have made more onions. I know some people are gonna be like, girl, you need more onions. It's not gonna taste the same. I'm gonna move this over to the side and do the famous in and out sauce. So you're gonna need mayo. I know a lot of people are cringing right now because a lot of people do not like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. This is mayonnaise made with um, avocado oil with a hint of lime. I don't know if that's going to change the taste, but we're good. I think that's enough. Now some relish. Ooh. Some mustard. And some ketchup. And we're gonna mix this around. And I'm pretty much gonna see what I need. You can tell by the color what it might need. Probably gonna need some more mayo. Think of it like the Big Mac sauce because low key, this is kind of like the Big Mac sauce. This isn't it, y'all. You have to add a little bit of sugar, some black pepper, which I'm all for because I love some black pepper. I'm gonna mix it around quick because I'm not trying to sneeze. Just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. A little bit because this will literally take over the whole entire sauce. Trust me, I know. Bruh. Ooh, I think that was too much. Now you're just going to pour it on top. I know people are cringing like, uh, uh, what? And now you're done. You have your animal fries inspired by the In-N-Out animal fries. I've actually had In-N-Out before when I went to L.A. And, um... It wasn't all that. That's all I'm gonna say. It wasn't better than Five Guys. It wasn't better than Wendy's. I don't know what all the fuss was about, but it wasn't all that. But I did not get to try the animal fries, so I thought this would be a great way to kind of like, you know, try it. Let's take this first bite. First, let us pray, Lord, please. Let this food be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bruh. Mm. Tastes good, y'all. Cause it really is. It tastes. Just imagine the Big Mac sauce with fries. Just imagine that. Mmm. You know what? Thousand Island um, salad dressing. <laughs> y'all haven't eaten all day, so this is kind of like my meal. Mm -mm -mm. 
think the only thing I wish I did better was the onions. I didn't cut that many onions up and I did burn a little bit of them. I'm not sure how um, in and outs fries taste. I can't remember, but I remember them being kind of bland. I just remember not really being impressed with in and out It was just kind of like, man, really? So y'all, I have not had McDonald's in a minute. So this is just crazy how I'm eating McDonald's fries, but their fries were never bad to me. It was always just the other food that was a little bit questionable. Woo, mm, let's bust open this water. Thirsty. Woo. Mm, I needed that water. Let me know below if you would try this. I mean, you should. I would try it. Everyone, I'm pretty sure, has mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, relish in their um, kitchen, onion. It's not bad at all. It's good. Mm. If I ever make a burger, I'm probably going to make sure to add this sauce on there because it's just... The sauce is really good. It's really, really good. Usually I would use um, Italian, no, not Italian, a thousand, thousand Island dressing. Usually I would use that to um, put on my burgers, but now I'm like, you know what? This isn't that bad. It tastes just like it. Got me over here questioning like, hey, is this, is this the same sauce for the Big Mac? Maybe I should really like line them up and really taste all of them because it tastes just alike. So I decided to do this. What time is it? It is 2.22 p.m. right now. I make sure to eat this like early in the day. That way I can burn the calories throughout the day. Plus I will be going to the gym later on. And no, it's not Gold's Gym. People have been hitting me up on Instagram. Seeing me at a gym, but it's not Gold's Gym. I still haven't updated you guys on that. And I will because... Mm. Mm. Before I went to McDonald's, I went to Target because I needed to get an onion. I thought they would have had frozen onions at Target, and y'all, they didn't. They had every frozen vegetable except the onion. Like, what's up with that? Anyways, I was on the move. I was ready to get back home. And I'm walking, and um, these two ladies are talking. They work at Target. And they're kind of like walking behind me in a way they were having their own conversation and they were talking pretty loud like everyone was hearing what they were saying she was like hey girl um you going home yeah i'm about to clock out right now girl and so everybody heard their conversation but one of the girls was like oh i like her hair color and i'm walking straight just continuing on like i heard it but um you're not really acknowledging me you're telling your friend that you like her hair color so i don't know who you're talking to you could be talking about someone else's hair color there was plenty of people up in there the other girl was like yeah her hair color yeah i like that too and i just kept on walking because i'm like well you're not acknowledging me you're not saying hey i like your hair color you're talking you're literally talking about my hair color with your friend and i don't even necessarily know it's my hair color i kind of felt like it was just because i got a lot of compliments on this hair color but i'm not about to completely turn around and be like oh you're talking to me or turn around and be like oh thank you and i don't even know if they're talking to me it's kind of like if you're gonna give somebody a compliment then just give that person a compliment and i just kept on walking because i'm like hey i'm about to go to checkout and um they're not acknowledging me directly so I'm not about to butt in their conversation and be like, oh, thank you, and not even know if they're talking to me. So I kept on walking, and um, the girl was just like, ooh, she rude. And I'm like, I didn't even turn around, but in my head, I'm like, I know she wasn't talking to me. You are basically talking behind me. I'm facing forward. I ain't got eyes in the back of my head. I didn't know. I knew, but I wasn't sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would y'all do in that situation? That was just kind of weird. Cause I'm like, yo, don't do that. Don't call me rude, cause I'm not a rude person. But whatever. Like, it's not my problem. <laughs> you like someone's hair, you like their shoes, their clothes, their outfit, whatever it is, just give them the compliment directly. Don't like talk about it and then call the person rude. That's where she messed up was when she called me rude. Like, mm, oh, she rude. Uh, honey, you never, you never technically gave me a compliment. <laughs> you talked about the color of my hair behind my back. <laughs> like, come on. Okay, your girl got standards. There's a certain way that I want to be 
and there is a certain way that I would like to be addressed. I don't let anyone talk to me in a way that I don't want to be talked to. I don't answer to anyone that doesn't come at me correct, period. And that's why some people out here got people talking to them reckless because they never said it straight from the beginning. I don't been through enough. Like I've dealt with people talking to me reckless and, and all of that. I've already tolerated at some point in my life. I ain't doing that no more, no. I'm not sure, but I feel like some people probably would have turned around like, oh, my hair, who, me? Tell me directly, then I can acknowledge you directly and I can respond directly to you. But I'm not about to be out here guessing, oh, me, who, me, who, me? I'm not sure, I'm not about to jump in nobody conversation. If I'm ever out and about and someone has a cute hairstyle or a cute shirt or anything, I'm always going to say it because I can't even hold it in. I have to tell them. It makes people feel good when you give them a compliment and I just believe some people need to hear it. You don't know what anyone's going through out there. So for me, that's why I don't hold back giving compliments because they may need to hear it. Someone may not be telling them that they're beautiful or that they have a nice outfit or that they have a nice hairstyle. It's low key sad because I know some girls out here, they don't want to give other girls compliments. Like some girls out here just be, they be mad. They be mad for whatever reason. But anyways, I'm done with this. As you guys probably know, it's already getting cold. So I'm not going to finish this at all. It's cold. Make sure to comment below um, other videos, other cooking videos that you guys want me to do. Even though I have a few already lined up. But I still want you guys to let me know what you want to see. Definitely stay tuned for my next mukbang. It's going to um, include a special guest. Um, Bay. It's going to include Bay. <laughs> stay tuned for that. It's going to be... It's gonna be fun. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so, so much. The support has definitely been really good recently. Shout out to these people for being part of the J team, for being part of just the big support that I need to keep going on this channel. Don't forget to like this video. And of course, whatever you do out here on these streets, y'all make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful and give people compliments. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye. I need to get some chapstick. My lips are dry.